Muan has just come into the world. He was born at home rather than in a hospital. His mother, Rua, an ethnic Krung, doesn't speak Khmer and earns a subsistence living farming rice in a hard-to-reach village in Ratanakiri province. In this remote province, one in 30 infants dies in the first month of life. One in 12 does not make it through their first year. And by age five, one in 10 children dies mainly of preventable and easily treatable diseases such as diarrhea and pneumonia. In the last 10 years, impressive gains have been made in Cambodia on key health indicators for mothers and children. The infant mortality rate has been halved and the under five mortality rate has also greatly declined. Vaccination coverage for children has doubled and the number of women giving birth in a health facility has gone from one in 10 to one in two. However, infant mortality amongst the poorest 20% of Cambodians is 71% higher than the national average. And infants born in rural areas are three times more likely to die during their first year of life than infants born in urban communities. បាទទទួលនៅសេវាសុខភាពតិចជាងប្រជាជនដែលរស់នៅទី Barkuma, ដោយសុខភាពសម្បោធមានបុគ្គលិកមិនដល់សុខភាពចំនួនPoverty, traditional beliefs, linguistic barriers and social stigma sometimes discourage remote and ethnic populations from seeking health care. Community volunteers around the country are receiving extra training and supervision to provide them with the knowledge and skills to help improve healthcare seeking practices in their villages. Taught to identify danger signs in pregnancy and for childhood illnesses such as pneumonia and diarrhea, they are working to make sure that children and mothers get referred on time to health centers or hospitals. In addition to training volunteers, Cambodia is also improving the quality of services provided at health facilities serving remote and marginalized populations. Community volunteers and midwives are helping to overcome the barriers faced by marginalized populations. Further required actions include good health service planning at province, district and commune level to meet the needs of remote populations, training of more community volunteers in rural and remote villages, 
and the availability of emergency transportation to get mothers and children to health facilities for timely and appropriate health care. If these steps are taken, baby Muan and many other children like him can look forward to a healthy childhood.